Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Aquarius. And keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Aquarius. If you'd like a personal reading, that's going to be down below in the description. We can find that on my website. You can also find a bunch of other things there on that website too. And it's free to sign up and join. So go ahead and go check it out. But let's see what we have going on for our three line sign of Aquarius today. Okay, so what's going on for Aquarius? We have the moon. So we have you guys connecting with the moon. We have you guys connecting with your moon sign. And we have you guys tapping deep into your emotional side as well, Aquarius. You're tapping into your emotions. You're sending. You're moving forward here. You're uh, raising your vibration. And because of that, you're attracting in high vibrational opportunities here. And we have you guys connect with the Palladian star system as well. Temperance. We have you guys connect with the goddess Aset here too, but that's for healing. So some of you guys may be doing some healing here. Maybe you're doing some emotional healing. Some of you guys be healing other people as well, Aquarius. But you have wealth on all levels that's coming to you. Okay. And you're about to have you're about to have spiritual balance. You're about to have emotional balance here. You're about to have material balance. Everything's about to be balanced out for you. Here, and this card comes out when we need to get deeper into the spiritual message, which we will in a minute. But there's three things that you've been waiting for that are coming in for you, Aquarius. But it feels like one of these things you may be actually creating. Because we have Sun God right here. But either way, you're creating one of, at least one of this these things, okay? So, let's pull some cards from here and let's see more for you. Number 17, with choice, free will, courage, willpower, changed. So it's like you have a, okay, so there's something coming up that you have a choice about, and it could be something to do with the home. Number four, with home, shelter, safety, nurturing, warmth. So you have a choice with the home, Aquarius, something about a home that you got a choice in. Um, 30, will, expression, assertiveness, self-control, direction. So it's like you're using your willpower of which way you're going hear about this home that i don't know there's something about the home and i can't oh you're i don't know you're making a decision about a home whether to buy a home sell a home something about a home 49 divine consciousness interconnection expansion oneness light so you're you're also connecting very deeply with the divine you're being one with the divine here aquarius is what it feels like for you okay um what cards do i want to use Okay, I know what cards I want to... Oh, wait, no. I'm going over here. Getting a little bit distracted. All right, but let's see. Let's see more for Aquarius. We have number 11 with Sarasvati, and that card came out one of the other readings. I don't remember what that card means. I, just, <laughs> I already forgot. So we're going to have a look at it, but that's a goddess you're connecting with. All right, and then we got number 44 with the raven. We got the raven you're connecting with. Don't remember what the raven means either, but we got fours. Fours is our stability. Fours is our foundation, Aquarius. All right, so let's see more for Aquarius here. Number 29 with Iboga. Number 7 with the goddess Lakshmi. So with Lakshmi here, you got wealth and fortune that's coming your way. Um, let's have a look at your other cards. Iboga, I think, talks about, um, releasing some past traumas or, like, um, learning from it. Yeah, learning from your difficult experiences in your life, I think, what's, is what that card talks about. So some of you guys will learn from some difficult experiences in your life here. Um, but let's see what the raven and what this goddess has to say. Number 11. Oh, the words I speak shape my reality. So what you speak, Aquarius, is going to happen. So speak only good things, okay? Um, but the question is, how can I be more conscious in my thoughts and words? And I'm not going to read out the whole thing because I just did that in the other video. All right, we have the raven. It says, I see the path forward. All right, so you're seeing where where your path is, where you're supposed to be at. It says, the mysterious raven has come to deliver a prophecy, but have no fear, as raven is a powerful spiritual ally. A messenger between the realms. This bird of the nights is wise in the ways of magic in the universe. You are being reminded to tap back into your spiritual practice. Raven speaks to the importance of connecting with your guides for even a few moments every day. Make time to incorporate meditation, journaling, connecting 
with your oracle deck so that you can allow time and space for the divine guidance to stream in. Miracles appear in the smallest of moments, and the third eye is like a fine-tuned instrument. Spending time tuning into your intuition and deepening your practice will lead you in the right direction. The question is, what are a few quick ways that you can incorporate your spiritual practice into your daily routine? Okay, so that is messages for you is really, really tapping back into your spirituality, Aquarius. That's what you're doing, or that's what you should be doing. So let's go over here and let's see more for you. So we got number 32, a Tai Chi rising. So it feels like you're, okay, so Tai Chi rising, it talks about like your, your energetic field rising or something like that. Uh, we're going to have a look at a deeper look at that card to see more about it. Okay, yeah, your energy field is growing stronger with more spiritual electricity pulsing through your being. Take time to nourish your nervous system as it adjusts and be gentle with yourself as you adjust to increasing levels of spiritual potency, which gives more impact to your words, actions, and thoughts. See, once again, what you speak is going to happen. So your your energy field is, is growing, Aquarius, and because of that, what you speak is going to happen. Once again, having a big energy field does not necessarily mean that you have a high level of consciousness, but... When you do have an exquisite awareness in a beautiful light, it is able to shine more brightly through a larger energy field. Whatever you do, or whatever you have within you, a larger energy field will reveal it with greater gusto. You have a special light within you, and the elegance, beauty, and refinement of that light wishes to express itself more potently in the world of form so that they can may, re may receive healing and refine their light too. You can help teach others about the power of gentleness. That force is not required, and that kindness can be the most healing and powerful balm of all. For this to happen more so now, your energy field is growing. It is like having a bigger light globe through which to shine your light. So that it is more visible. As your energy field grows, your words and thoughts have more potency. By getting used to driving a car with a more powerful engine, take your time and be careful as you realize the impact that your actions and thoughts have in the world of forms now. You do not need to worry about this. You can go into your heart and trust that you will exercise your will and potency in the world through surrendering into your heart, where your own quantum nature will guide you into the compassion and right action. Let your energy field continue to grow through chanting, meditation, energy work, and healing, and whatever else intuitively feels right for you. This oracle is confirmation that the growth is happening and needs to happen for you now so that you're able to do your life's work most effectively. All right, and here's healing. It says, stand comfortably with your feet hip wide apart and your hands hanging relaxed at your sides. Feel your feet connecting with the ground and gently rock on your heels and balls of your feet. Say aloud, I call upon the unconditional love, light, and power of the earth now for my greatest good. Then slowly draw your hands up in front of your body, palms facing inwards as you extend them above your head, straight to the sky. Imagine that you're pulling the earth energy up from your feet and up through the top of your head. Say aloud, I call upon the unconditional love, light, and power of the heavenly forces now for my highest good. Imagine slowly pulling the light of heaven down through your body. As you draw your hands down in front of your body slowly, palms facing your body, and slightly downwards, stopping at your navel. Rest your hands in front of your navel and close your eyes, being aware of light traveling up through your body and out through the crown of your head, and down from the heavens, through your body and into the earth, two flows of energy earth and heaven, forming a column of bright loving energy which surrounds you and extends below you into the earth above you into the heavens. Breathe peacefully here in this column of light when you are ready, open your eyes. And here's a prayer, Aquarius, it says, through the mercy and compassion of Kuan Yin and my own free will, may my energy field grow to meet the needs of my soul light. May I be strong and merciful, powerful and wise in equal measure. May I be loving and potent with temp temperance and peaceful intention. All right, so that's message for you. Now, no, 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 now I'm going over here, okay? Actually, no. I'm going to go over here because we have ravens. So we're going to go over to this deck, and we're going to see more for Aquarius.
Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is yourself, whether male or female, it does not matter, but it looks like you're changing. You're changing your whole life, Aquarius. And you're manifesting. And you're manifesting better, because once again, what you speak is going to happen. So speak good things, Aquarius. Could be things in your career. Manifesting change within your career here. King of Swords is here too. Some of you got, you got love come. Okay, there may be somebody coming in. There's somebody coming towards you romantically, Aquarius. This is what's manifesting for you. This could be another air sign like yourself, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, when we have the King and Queen of Swords. Uh, Gemini with the Magician, but heavy, heavy air just in general. Here, this is, there's somebody, there's somebody coming towards you in love romantically. And there may be two people you're also leaving out in the cold, Aquarius. There may be two people you're leaving behind. And you may be moving. You may be moving to a new city here, Aquarius. You're, you're going somewhere. Once again, making a decision here about a home. Um, but yes, there's somebody, there's somebody coming your way, right? Somebody's here. So let's go over here to these cards and let's see more for you. Three of Swords. Three of Swords is here again. But there's a Two of Cups. There's Two of Cups. There's a Ten of Cups. I'm confused on why we have the Three of Swords, though. So we're going to have to clarify that. There's somebody There's somebody here that's a soulmate of yours. And you're about to have justice, okay? You're about to have justice in the situation here. There's a King of Cups. Now there's a King of Cups, probably. Okay, there's something. Okay, look. Okay. All right. We're going to have to clarify a lot here. There's something here you've been praying for that you're about to receive, Aquarius. But you got to soulmate. There's justice. There's a Three of Swords. we got, we got to clarify all this. First off, why is the Three of Swords in Aquarius' reading? So why is the Three of Swords in Aquarius' reading here? Because somebody done fell out of their tower. Somebody fell out of the tower. The Three of Swords is clarifying the Three of Swords, Aquarius, the Fool, because there's a fool. There is a fool. There is a fool that you were messing around with, but I feel like you kicked them out of your tower because it's like they tried to, by their foolish ways, they tried to break your heart, Aquarius. And I feel like you may be moving on here. You're moving on with somebody else. And it may be justice, because this part, this some of you guys were dealing with the King of Cups of Water Sign, heavy Scorpio here. But I feel like maybe... I feel like this person may have chose somebody else over you. This is the funny part. They chose somebody else, but I feel like their person doesn't even like them. Aquarius, that's the funny part. So you're going to be moving on with somebody here that actually likes you, and they're going to be moving on with somebody here that's like praying for this person to just go away. All right? That's how they feel. That's how the person that they chose feels about them. That's the funny part, is what I feel like here, Aquarius. So this part, this person, they messed up. They messed up. Yeah, and I feel like you're moving on with somebody here that's heavily an air sign. Maybe connected with birds here. I don't know, something with birds. I know that's random, but birds, animals, in some type of way. Okay, so let's go over here and let's see more for you. No, actually, I want to stay with the, my cards. Let's stay with these cards. You got success and victory. So you got success and victory in this situation, Aquarius, because it's like maybe you sacrifice a lot for this person. This person would not do for you. They would not do for you. Okay? It feels like you walked away from this person. You may have walked away from a group of... You may have walked away from a group of people that you sacrificed a lot to that just were not... They, they would never do this for you. Right? All they tried to do is just cast off the burdens off onto you. Now, I feel like you got your sword raised. You know, once again, heavily, some of you guys were dealing with the Scorpio here. That's that's trying to come in with another false love offer. But I feel like you're like, no, get out of here. Done. Done with that. Been there, done that, not doing it again. And I feel like you're celebrating by telling that you're, you're celebrating breaking up with this person. <laughs> you're celebrating breaking up with this person. You're celebrating saying no when they try to come back. You're celebrating. <laughs> 
You know, there's some people that get upset when they break up or they cry or whatever. You're celebrating. All right. I don't know if you guys ever done. I know I celebrate. <laughs> ah. But either way, you're moving on and you're moving towards a new beginning of your life here. Once again, you guys got new love coming in. Once again, I feel like heavily it could be another air sign like yourself, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. See, you're, you're moving on because all this person did before the past person that you're dealing with, they left you hanging, they left you on the cold. And it's like, you know, they, they once again, they may have chose other people over you. Yeah, they may have had like a different relationship going on while they're there with you. And I feel like you're done with that, Aquarius. You're done. You're moving on. Some of you guys be moving on with another Aquarius like yourself. Overall air though, but you're you're done with the, the other person that just tried to cause defeat in your life. You're done. Alright? You already been there, done that, not doing it again. Okay. You're studying. Alright, so you're studying, um You're studying something here that's gonna help you progress within your career, something here that's gonna help you evolve. We have you guys connecting more with nature in here. And we have Aos. There's Aos that you're you're connected with. Aos is helping you rise up. Aos is helping you raise your vibration. You're moving towards the light. And because of that, you're attracting in higher vibrational opportunities. And you're going through a double transformation here. All right. We have the Prince of Cups. The Prince of Cups is the prince that's intuitive. He's emotional. He's empathic here. This can either be yourself or somebody that's around you. Um, yeah, there's somebody here that's very deep into their emotions and their feelings. All right, you may have opportunities and doors opening up to you that that is that is part of your heart's desires. Okay, and I feel like when these doors and opportunities open up for you, I feel like you're going for them, Aquarius. You're like, yes, let's do it. Let's go. Okay, so let's go over here and let's see more for you. Some of you guys may be buying a car here, buying a car. You're moving towards a new beginning of your life here, Aquarius. What you want for your life is just up ahead for you. Okay, you got, once again, if you've been desiring love, love could be coming in. Okay, the moon. Once again, we have you guys connect with your moon sign, whatever that is for you guys, but you guys are definitely cutting off cords in the past. You're done with the past here. You're done. You're over. You're done. You're done. Okay? There is no going back. Even though this person wants to come back, you're not going back, okay? You're done and over with it. A lot of you guys are reconnecting back to your spirituality as well. Once again, tapping back into your spiritual side here and you're celebrating that. I feel like you're just celebrating the whole experience. <laughs> you're, you're taking action towards what you desire in your life and you're taking action towards your abundance, you know, Aquarius. It's all being offered to you, so I feel like you're really going for it here. And once again, I feel like you're blocking out those that are trying to be, trying to stop you from what stop you from your heart's desires, but your heart's desires is coming in. They can't stop it, Aquarius. You got miracles happening for you here. You got, they're, they're, okay, there's this King of Cups again, but you're being led and guided here. And you're being led and guided here towards releasing that person once again, because it's, it's like the person of the past that may have treated you like crap. All right. And you deserve better than to be treated like crap here because you're the Empress, right? I feel like you may be distancing yourself from that person, whoever they worked at. Yeah, you're cutting them off, you're distancing yourself from them, and you got some big contract coming your way, Aquarius. This big contract could be for your career, it could be for material assets here, it could be a marriage contract within the future. King of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're there's somebody here you're not open to. Some of you guys may be doing some healing, maybe healing. If there's somebody here you're not open to, and I feel like they're confused on why you're not open to them, Aquarius, here. Um, you're not open to them because all they did was just keep you stuck in anxiety. So I feel like you're you're defense you're like putting your armor up against this person, Aquarius. Uh, uh, yeah, you're not you're not like uh, there's somebody here that I feel like maybe maybe they really like to break you down here, and I feel like you're just not wanting that in your life anymore. So I feel like you're putting a wall against this person. This person's confused because they don't even see their own actions. All right, that's how much of a narcissist they are, Aquarius. They think what they do is okay. It's not okay. Okay, it was never okay, Aquarius. I don't remember if I shuffle these cards, so I'm going to shuffle them again, if I already have. We're going to see more for you. Ten of Pentacles is what's coming here. Ten of Pentacles is a large sum of money here. It's the family, it's the home, it's the dogs, it's overall abundance, it's the spill. you got to be open to it if that's what you asked for. 
Aquarius, we have a Queen of Wands here. Some of you guys can have fire in your birth chart. Fires, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe there's a fire sign around you. Fire sign hanging on to you. You guys got a new money opportunity coming in as well. And once again, some of you guys may, buy, may be buying a new car. King of Wands. Once again, there's fire. There's fire here. I see fire. Like fire signs. Um, but I definitely feel like some there's a new car. There's taking action towards the car. I don't know. There's a car here. Aquarius. There's the moon. We have you guys connect with your moon sign here. And you're moving blockages that were in your path. And, um, yeah, I feel like that person that you're dealing with of the past, I feel like there's a lot more to them that you don't know that you probably don't even want to know is what I, like, you're already, this is somebody here you already had conflict with, walked away from before, and now I feel like you're focusing on your money, Aquarius, because all this person did was just give you anxiety. And, you know, and, and your, your partner's not supposed to give you anxiety, but they were. All right, so, Aquarius, that is what I have for you. If you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can also find even more content on my website, too. All right, so goodbye, guys.